It's me, Ed. On behalf of Whizbang Engineering, I want to welcome all you engineers from the Design and Development Department. <laughs> you are among the first humans to experience Zing 2000, yes, sir. And to introduce you to the workings of the ride, it's my pleasure to turn you over to Dr. Andre. Enjoy your ride, uh, Dr. Andre. Uh, Dr. Andre? <laughs> Chester, you're such a monkey. <laughs> you should all know Chester. The whiz -bang Company mascot. Horton always says every whiz -bang product should be developed for the chimps of the world. Welcome to the nerve center of the Zing 2000 simulator. We're here today to complete the final testing of this During this test, we want to push the product to the limits, maximizing performance and reliability, but we also want to test our latest innovation, the thing that puts the Zing in the Zing 2000 simulator, the Zing thing. Come on, Jensen. These guys have other work. We'll work on the Zing thing next time. To help us test the ride, we need you to pretend you're the general public and then give us feedback as our fellow engineers. Let me review the development of the Zing 2000 simulator. As you know, simulators have come a long way since Link developed the first flight simulator in 1929. Like modern flight simulators, Zing 2000 simulator is moved by an array of six powerful hydraulic cylinders. This array moves the Zing 2000 simulator in all the directions the human is capable of sensing. All movement occurs in three rotational degrees, roll, pitch, and yaw, and in three linear degrees, heave, surge, and sway. Other parts of your body reinforce the brain's motion-sensing capability. Like going down in a fast elevator, you feel your stomach lighten. You are experiencing the vertical linear motion called heave. To simulate movement, the computer starts with complex mathematic software programs called kinematic algorithms to calculate movement in these six degrees. The kinematics are used to control special valves that direct the hydraulic power from the pump into the cylinders. These valves control how fast the cylinders move and in which direction. But the kinematics are the brains of the ride. Creating them required lots and lots of scientific analysis, complex math modeling, and little experimentation. Okay, a lot of experimentation. Now with the Zing thing, accelerometers up here mimic the motion sensing capabilities of the brain. Electrical impulses from them turn directly into motion on the Zing 2000. Too bad, we won't be trying it out today. Now hold on a minute here. Are we in this alone or are we in this all together? I mean, what about them out there? I just worked all night installing the version 2 software that makes this thing work. I just haven't fully tested it yet. Jensen, you should have checked with me before installing the version 2. We can't go around testing new software on live subjects. What great advancements in engineering have occurred without a little risk? But who flew the first airplane? Who used the first electric toothbrush? Brave engineers who were willing to put their lives on the line in the name of progress. That's who. Well, we don't have much choice, so we'll try the version 2 kinematics on a non-real-time application, but not the zing thing. And if anything goes wrong, there's 911. Before you ride the Zing 2000 simulator, there are a few things you must know for your own safety. Please pay close attention and follow these instructions carefully. You cannot support both your upper and lower body. If you suffer from back problems, if you are pregnant, if you are under 42 inches in height, this ride is not for you. Every seat is a good seat, so please move to the furthest available seat. Place all your carry-ons on the floor in front of your seat. Pull the seat belt from the right side of your seat and buckle it into the latch on the left side of your seat. If you need to stop the ride for any reason, raise one hand and the ride engineer will stop the ride for you. 
We hope you enjoy the ride. When the door opens, please go on inside. And if you survive, we'll try and have some fun with the zing thing. Jensen! Imagine riding along with the Olympians, going for the gold, or, or Jordan going to the hoop. <laughs> Imagine the zing thing on a race car driver like Mario Andretti. Oh, no, no, a musician like James Brown. Hi! Wow! Or, no, on Madonna. Oh, yeah. On Madonna. Jensen.